one. All right. And we're live. Welcome everybody back to uh, Tuesday Rehearsals. As always, my name is John from Rock Branded. We got everyone else go around and introduce yourself. I'm Dave. I'm from Rabid Gorilla, rabidgorilla.com. I am Tony, also known as the Reverend Cooperstone Badge. You even have the accent to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, Lauren? Uh, my name is Lauren LaGiudice, and I'm here to chat about music and also chat about my book, uh, Inside Melania, what I know about Melania Trump by impersonating her. So I'll be <laughs> randomly breaking out into Melania as we go, if Excellent. you're wondering why. That's awesome. It's a, I, I, I am most appreciative of it. I, I don't know if you know this, Lauren, but it's like I got a lot of pull on Twitter. If you need anything, you just let me know, okay? So. <laughs> no problem. Thank you, very, thank you very much, Donald. Um, if I want people who will uh, hate me, I will definitely go, go to you. Uh, feel, free to <laughs> feel, free, feel free to call me 45. I don't mind. It's okay. We're cool like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So. I heard Melania calls her 45 seconds, but... <laughs> oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> hey! <laughs> really Five like seconds it. longer than me. <laughs> so, uh, so, so as always, it's uh, three guys, three songs, and we have a guest. Um, uh, uh, I almost called you Melania. But we have a guest <laughs> on today, and uh, she's going to join us, and she uh, put up her song. Uh, I don't know who wants to go first. Lauren, if you'd like to go first, you're the guest. It's, uh, it's up to you. Sure, let's go, let's go uh, dig into to Patty, Patty Smith, Horses. Yes. Great song. Oh, we don't actually play the music, we just talk about it. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, oh, so you want me to talk, uh, right, you wanted me to tell you how I, how I chose exactly. it, right? Correct. Exactly, yeah. Yep, so um, I love this song because it just makes me want to like punch a wall and also dance around at the same time. Yeah. And those are not mutually exclusive feelings. So just like, that rage of not being understood and wanting to get it out. I saw her do this live and it was one of the most incredible experiences that I've ever, I've ever seen. Yes. She like, she started like re just reading it with some poetry and then she started to riff riffing. Yeah. And then she was like stirring the crowd. That's the only way I could describe it. Everyone was like getting more intense, more, everyone was getting more psyched up. And then she broke it by like screaming and then going into horses. And it was like, it was the, one of the coolest experiences I've ever had in music. And like the true power of music, like that's what music is supposed to do. It's supposed to like bind a crowd, like a real performer rocks a crowd in a way that like anything online is just impossible to do. Right. So that's okay. So, so that's more of like, a, a, like the experience you had with that particular song. Yeah, it's more about, I guess, the experience and also just like listening to Patty. I mean, I wish I had her when I was young. Like I, when I was a teenager, like I, I didn't know about Patty Smith. I was like in Howard Beach, Queens, you know, like I was like, what, what are you talking about? Like I would have never, <laughs> I really, I really like, I was mostly listening to like dude punk bands. Right. And like, I don't understand there was this whole world that Patty Smith had it, which if it was the internet. I feel like I would have, I would have totally discovered her. And, and the thing is too, like, like, uh, she was uh, she was powerful in the movement of punk and probably doesn't get as much props as she could she should totally. and yep. you, you know and, and she talks a lot about that too like she's not shy about calling it out and she I mean she's got yeah. you know excuse me to say she's got she got some serious balls some of the music that she's put out and some of the things that she said so I, yeah. I definitely have a lot of respect for it. my per, one of my personal favorites is more of her uh, uh, like dancing barefoot like uh -uh. Out, of, out of any Patty, Patty Smith song that I would like would have danced yeah. to. I'd that's say that's one. probably, and it's not just because it has dancing in the title. It, it's like, that's, yeah, yeah. You know, it's got I a, like the one too. Awesome, yeah. awesome uh, rhythm and everything. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, cool. I'm not a huge Patti Smith fan. However, People who are, yes, yes. <laughs> however, I do like the song. Yeah. Um, it, it's essentially, Do You Love Me, though. The song itself, not all the riffing she does around it, not all her own. Stuff, but it's basically the song do you love me now that i can dance i can mash potatoes yeah 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 <laughs> um but i mean a stripped down version of that and then she does her own thing with it so she definitely made it her own song and, and yeah yeah and i would definitely say that she's got balls that's at least got balls 
Yeah. And you know, it's funny the people who don't like Patty Smith are like, don't like, I know, happen to know someone who knows is friendly with someone in her backup band. And he was like, Oh, he's a, he's a musician. And he's all like high and mighty about rock. And he's like, Oh, I can't believe he has to play that crap music every night. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, whatever hater I don't I don't hate her it's just not a big oh, fan yes yeah. yes but it, it just I guess she doesn't have like um I guess I'm certain people who might like rock music like follow a like lyrical line and I'm just using words I don't know I'm not <laughs> music is this right Dave you seem like more you would know what you're talking about too is that oh, right I'm lyrical line I, I I am a Patty Smith fan I've known her for like 25 years or so I'm not known her but you know known her music yeah. And uh, I had heard the song before, but I hadn't heard it in a long time, and I really enjoyed hearing it again. Yeah. It made me think of Sonic Youth. I could hear the influence that she's had on other, the grunge yeah. movement um, that happened, you know, maybe the Freedoms a little bit. But yeah, yeah I, I loved it. Good choice. Yeah, Dave's more of our, our, our go-to indie guy. Definitely. You yeah. Know, you want to talk about underground punk back in the 70s? Dave's uh, kind of. so fun. Yeah. yeah. No, everyone you know had a good choice. I was almost thinking, like, we should have a dance party because everyone had, I was like, dude, all these songs, I was like, these are rocking songs. I'm ready to jake my ass after listening to them. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, and then just, you know, if there's anyone in the audience, like, what do you guys think? Is this something new to you? Have you never heard uh, Patty, uh, I almost said Patty Hurst, but uh, <laughs> Patty Smith before? She also had. She also had balls yeah. Oh, yeah she did yeah so, she had to you know but uh yeah you guys like and comment below uh feel free to let us know what y'all are thinking uh so who wants to go up next like who's we, we like we said we all had some uh, let's rip into here. john what do you think for me yeah, let's rip into john all right <laughs> well uh my choice today was uh tell me baby by the the red hot chili peppers and um just basically the, the, I, I had a very similar experience with, with that song. It, it's uh, um, never a huge fan of the Chili Peppers per se. I've kind of, you know, weaned in and out and stuff. I love funk. I love punk rock music and uh, metal and whatnot. But um, that song in particular, just the uh, kind of the opening, very quiet chords coming up. And then just, you know, the, uh, the immediate punch of the drums and the bass coming together and right into the groove and everything. It just... It always gets me like, like pumped up, and if I'm ever feeling down, that's probably the first song I put on to kind of turn my mood around. You always and, always get a big, good bass line with them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, it's, you got Flea. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, Flea's like uh, kind of the quintessential bass player. Like like yeah. people who've never heard of bass players know who Flea is. You know. You know what I'm saying? It's well, yeah. and Sting, of course. You know who's uh, yeah. you know another <laughs> one of my personal faves. But uh, but I've I've recently started gaining a great deal of respect for John Frusciante and just how good of a guitarist he is between his phrasing, his songwriting, and just his skill in general. Uh, he's a pretty amazing musician and uh, he's definitely become an influence on me and my playing, so to speak, in the past couple of years. Yeah. So, you know. Hold on, Tony, say that again. We, you broke up a little bit. Your choice, your choice was not terrible this week. Right. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Another running gag, Lauren, is like everybody hates the music that I choose all the time. Mm. <laughs> like, like uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's typically, yeah, I'm, I'm typically in the uh, in the minority in, in what what I pick and choose. Mm. But he's a fanboy. He's a fanboy. He likes all these little boy pop bands and stuff. You know. <laughs> I, do. I do. I do. At the end of the day, I love pop music. And so. And if he goes oh, really? to a show, if he goes to a show and somebody kicks him in the mouth, he gets mad and doesn't ever listen to them. <laughs> no, no, he just became... you join the mosh pit and you get burned. You're surprised. <laughs> Is that what I'm hearing? I, I got uh, a couple of years back. It, it's an old story. Um, Tony and I were in a band together, and uh, we we was like uh, mid '90s, so we were like influenced by like uh, I was influenced by Sublime at the time, uh, the Deftones, and uh, the we were playing a, a club and someone said, uh, oh, uh, play some boss tones. And I said, no, fuck that. I'm the anti Dickie Barrett, who's like the lead singer. Because I was in a mosh pit in a Beastie Boys show, the boss tones opened up for him and Dickie Barrett kicked me in the face. I was right, I was front row. So, yeah. I see. It was my sacrifice for being front row. Yeah. I often don't like the things that people like, what's that, what's that sketch that every like, 
comedy guys into. It's that thing with um, the guy who played uh, Elf. What's that called? Uh, yeah, Will Ferrell. Uh, yeah. And he's Sib dinging like Sibboon. the thing. Sibboon. Sibboon. Oh, um. oh, yeah. He's in the. Uh, he's hitting the thing. He's, he's hitting the thing. The oh! Oh! Oh, you guys had a secret word without me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's not fair. Oh. All right. All right. I, I appreciate that one. I didn't I didn't realize you guys were interacting. That's uh, Yeah, we have we were conspiring. We went behind you back. So th so then you guys probably already know that I screwed up and booked her yesterday and booked you guys you guys today and she was good enough to like, you know, come on anyway. So I appreciate that by the way. It's like, I, you know. Uh, as long as it's someone else fucking up, I don't care. So I can feel right? better about so, myself. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's talk, I would like the, the music video of this was so good. I felt like it really encapsulated the desperation of aspiring musicians and LA in general like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. That was like a music video. Yeah. I had I had never seen it before. I had, I don't think I've heard that song before, but it was, it yeah. was a good tune. Yeah. Also, I, I got a remark about that video. It it seems like the people who uh, the the non Chili Peppers members didn't know the Chili Peppers were going to be there. So yeah. they, like if you're a drummer, they just put you on the drums, and then the, it, it looks like the Chili Peppers just come in while you're jamming and start yeah. playing with you. Just super and fun. And I thought that I was like, wow, that's. You know, I in, for for an artist that big to do something like that for that fan base. That's yeah. That that to me, I thought yeah. that was really cool. You know, I and I, it was I like thought. very well cast. That everyone that they had was clearly not that great, and so right. it made the Chili Peppers great. And like it made me have a greater appreciation for like why they're stars and like the energy they bring. That's just so they just really own it in a way that like like the people they brought on don't. And so you get to see what's the difference. Right. And like. They did such a great job of doing all the different shades of desperation, all the different types of people and the ways that people are desperate. Um, they definitely missed, like, they definitely it got like, oh, hey, you know, like people being desperate. They missed, like, how desperate can go, like someone blowing the producers or, like, right. hitting on the yeah. chili peppers. Yeah. <laughs> Cut that out. Thank you for the chances. That's the extended <laughs> version, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Director's cut. Yeah. <laughs> With the what now? Our producer's a woman, so how does that apply for us? <laughs> I mean, she could ask to be serviced just as well. <laughs> well, trust me, I know. She's like half my age. She half kills me. It's like every now and then she's like, oh, oh, are you finished, baby? And I'm like, no, sweetheart, I'm having a heart attack. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but enough of that. She's going to kill me for that one. Anyway, so, uh, so who's next? I've gone. We got the secret word. I didn't. I didn't come up with any Wikipedia for you guys to figure out, though. That's the thing. I didn't realize I was Jaws. In. Was it Jaws? Yeah. Yeah, it's Jaws. There you go. <laughs> All right. Great summer. Um, it's Jaws. <laughs> I'll go next. Um, All right. So I picked the hives, and uh, um, and uh, the song is uh, "I Told You So." I think I told you so. I told you so. I don't know. If I told you so. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, I, I've known this band for a little while. I used to really dig another song they did about uh, nuclear war that I thought was pretty cool, which was in a, a little movie called Accepted, which I also thought was a pretty good flick. Um, can't remember the name of the kid right now who's doing that. But at any rate, um, this song actually, um, it, does, it gets me up moving, man. I, I, I dig this tune. Tony, I thought it was a great song, and I don't want to be your nemesis anymore after that song. <laughs> oh, we're going to make peace. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> well, I, we'll, hug, we'll hug it out and stuff. For, for now. <laughs> I, no, I really, really enjoyed it. I had never heard it before. I'm putting it on my playlist. I'm not wow. going to make it. <laughs> wow. Tony gets the playlist award. Nice. <laughs> that's it. So, And the funny thing is, Tony was going to give himself the playlist award anyway this week. So... <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty amazing. It's really, it's an honor to both receive and give this award to myself. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. So I, 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 I've never heard of the hives, I have to say. Um, and I was really excited to like learn about them. I thought they were really cool. Yeah, it's definitely, it was definitely yeah. Me move on. Made me want to dance. Yeah, yeah. I feel like and I've, I've seen those kinds of, I've seen the hives, like I've seen them all over the East Village for years. And I was like, who are you? And I was like, oh. 
you're inspired by the hives. They look like so many people who went, I went to college with too. I went to Westland. It would have been like an eclectic. Yeah, I could see them running around. Like, oh. I'm so cool. I'm not even trying to be cool. I'm just cool and cool. Yeah. I wondered, if, do you think they got that? Those are the same outfits that Green Day wore. <laughs> like, um, uh, with Billy I, Joe. There was definitely an, al an album. They wore the same exact. Yeah. It was right around the same time period. It was right. It was about. Yeah, the, because it was about the same time. I, I remember the Hives coming out right, like right around the time that the Strokes came out. Yeah, it was, was a whole bunch of the bands. It was a whole bunch of them, this and the, that, and the other people. I think the Hives would have beat up Green Day and stolen their suits. Totally. Yeah. That's probably exactly what happened. And, That's where they got the suits. And they're from like uh, Sweden or Denmark or something like that. Uh, which explains the music video. Yeah, so <laughs> which I, that was, I, I think. That, that bass player, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looking like Pablo Escobar. <laughs> what I love most about it is like they, they it, it's like just the really tight fitting suits. I think it's really, really funny. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, because it just. The, the lead singer bears a passing resemblance to Mick Jagger. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So. And, and, and anyway, my song, last you ready to go on? Yes, song. let's go. My song was the best song. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Blister in the Sun by the Violent Femmes. Released way back in 1983. Wow, that long ago? Wow. Yeah, it uh, really gained popular around 88. At least it did for me anyway. That's when I remember it being huge. I, um, I, was, I was a toddler. So, um, and then it came out again in, uh, they re-recorded it in, hold on, let me go to my Wikipedia page, in 2000. Yeah, where are, no, are the violent no, fans still around? Good it question. Surprise me if they're still touring. It, that's an excellent question. I'm not sure. Uh, but it was in the movie Gross Point Blank with John Cusack. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Um, enjoyed a, a research popularity then. I love but it's it. uh, it's a good dancing tune when when we talked about making a show about dancing songs. My, my favorite That's part of the song. Is, my favorite part is at the end when they get real quiet and then kick back in. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind kind of reminds me of uh, Animal House when they were doing, um, you know. Get a little, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. A little bit softer now. We, yeah. we yeah. Lo love that. So. And, and so when I hear that song, and I do dance to that song, I love that song. Um, I always get down on the floor, except that I can't get back up again. <laughs> yeah. It's still, it's really like lasted such a long time. Cause I feel like people now even know who that is. I think it's just, it's a good song to get drunk to. And so I think I've been so high listening to this song. <laughs> it brings back a lot of fond memories. It's very, um, it's, it's a good teenage drunk song. <laughs> well, anyway, it's like uh, now's the time on the show where we give our, our guests the platform if they if they have anything to push, if they have anything to promote or anything like that. Sure. To do it. No heroin. <laughs> don't push. Don't push heroin. My Melania heroin. Um, well, my book Inside Melania is coming out uh, when this this will come out after, which is July fourth, um, and then we're dropping the ebook and the audiobook after. Uh, it's a look into the mind of the first lady and also like lots of humorous pieces but what's really important about it is that it t tells you about it, like how they're basically using her to try it for 2020 so um it's really funny it's really absurd it's really weird and i think you'll like it is the white house going to allow it to release or are they going to block it uh i yeah it's funny um they, they don't um this one they don't care enough about melania to do anything so <laughs> If you have any questions for Melania, I can answer as if you, if you want to, me to answer, I can, I can go into it. <laughs> I find nude pictures of her. You want to find the nude pictures of, Mel of me, Melania? Oh, <laughs> oh, don't worry. We sued all those people a long time ago. <laughs> it's uh, not, not a problem, Dave. I, I think I'll give you access to my uh, you, drive. No problem. So. <laughs> But, uh, you know, we know Donald, yeah. I know you were the one who leaked, leaked the nude pictures to make you look like a big man. Well, but it's okay, because I asked for the extra money in my prenup, so it's fine. I, 
I'm sorry. Could you speak up? Did you say that I'm a leak? I'm a leaky big man. I, di I didn't. I didn't hear all that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So. They just thank you for the prenup, Donald. That's all. Thank you very much for the extended uh, prenup. For nothing. For nothing. <laughs> Melani is Melani is feeling the boat. I Ivanka now. I, I'd like to know. How long? About Ivanka. How do you feel about Ivanka? Well, we had problems when we first went in because she was trying to act like the first lady. And so me, Donald, and her sat around to, to um, do a little bit of a conflict resolution. And she agreed not to infringe on the first lady territory if Donald would train her to be president. So that's where we go. Um, you seem a little shocked, but listen, Melania understands your country very well uh, because in America, in order to elect a female president, you're going to have to have the biggest country in the land, so. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I can't really say anything about that. Would that make me the first grandpa? <laughs> or well, first, you, you could the be the first daddy. man if you get your wish, Donald. So. <laughs> I'm a little surprised that Donald knows what conflict resolution is. Well, uh, the... the uh, conflict resolution, but basically we just get a conference call so he doesn't have to deal with us anymore anymore. So there we go. <laughs> Very good. Very good. So... Um, if, if I can ask, if I can talk to Lauren again, I feel like I'm yes. talking to like. Okay, uh, here we go. <laughs> do you have any kind of other events coming up or anything like that? Because it's like I, I, I checked out all your content. It seems like you're, you're kind of like a one woman show, and and it's it's really really cool. I love uh, Jeff. Tell him I, I can't wait to, to book one of those houses on Jersey. Yeah. Street, you know. So. I mean, I got a, I got a key. You know, you just my man will check you out. My man over here with the real estate, I'll give you a key to a shore house. You just can't go there Monday through Friday. You can only go there Monday through Friday and definitely not when there's a car in the driveway. I think I rented that place once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check, out, check, out, check out is when uh, you see the, the car pulling into the driveway. That's when you gotta leave. <laughs> But, uh, and for extra credit, you just bring some mail to put up to put on the counter so the girls think it's your place. You know? <laughs> why, did, why did we sleep on the beach last night? <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So, All well. right, well, you can find out more about everything going on at laurenlogi.com. Uh, and yeah, it has all my whole world of characters, including the Melania stuff and the book and upcoming shows. It's all, all right. yeah. Nice, nice plug. Point. Excellent. So. Well, again, we're, we're like, we got about three minutes left. We appreciate you coming on. Um, this has been great. Um, a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, we, we like to have fun here, you know, and it's like, and I love that you guys went behind my back and pulled out this whole secret. <laughs> As I was saying cowbell, I was like, I was like, oh, I bet, you know, it's, it's going to be funny if this is the secret word. And yeah, sure enough. Yeah, you too. Yeah, Dave and Tony were awesome. They like totally got on it as I was, we, we didn't plan that. It just yeah. kind of. Just just Why don't these guys know what the hell a cowbell is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. So, well, uh, very cool. That was the time on Sprockets when we dance. Yes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we should have the dance party. That's the end of meeting. Go out on that dance party. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. You guys like my moves? <laughs> I stand up, but I'm not kind of, I stand up, kind of, I'm not wearing pants, so. There, ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> well, you, there you are, like a sucker, right? You know. But what right. is that saying in your house? In my house, here I am. Here I am wearing pants, a sucker. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, you come in the door, the pants come off. Nice. So, all right, I'm gonna hey just. Everybody, I'm Peter Pantsless. <laughs> So, on that note, <laughs> on that note, we're all out of here. I'm John from Rock Brandon. <laughs> Everyone, go round robin. So, um, Dave. I guess first. Dave. Oh, guess first. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm Lauren Lojudice. Find me at laurenloji.com. I'm Dave at rabbitgorilla.com. <laughs> Do that one more time, Tony. You you were all broken up. The Cooperstone Badge. The Reverend Cooperstone Badge. Yes. Very good. Very good. Cool. All right. I'm going to click out of here.